just saw was a partnership with our church and our network, which involves about 350 churches in Maryland, Virginia, and West Virginia, and Washington, D.C. And we joined with those churches, and we had an initiative, a Senegal initiative, and the idea was to raise about $700,000 so that we could plant uh, 50 churches for the next five years, and we would be part of digging wells in communities. We would be part of building tabernacles, and we would be, be part of building children's tabernacles as well, and then training pastors and helping the, the, uh, the Bible school there. And it was an amazing opportunity, and I can tell you so far, with us, with our gift last year of $25,000, along with many other churches that gave, uh, so we raised almost $600,000 already in a three-year initiative. Somebody give God praise. Thank you. We're sending several teams, our network is, and our church is going to send a team next fall. And so we're very excited about that. We get to go, we get to put up one of those tabernacles already paid for. And we're still, we're about $100,000 short of our goal. We're still getting there. And God is going to help us uh, because I believe our church can give another 25 towards that and we can help raise that goal. So this is exciting, exciting stuff that God is doing in our lives. This church has 62 years of, of giving and loving on and praying for and helping missionaries around the world. I was uh, talking to Suzanne uh, earlier today. She just blessed me by talking about Centerpoint's participation in her life and even through the pandemic. I love this church. It's another reason why I just love this congregation. You have sacrificed have given, you have gone, you have prayed. We stay in touch with our missionaries. They're not just little workers for us. They're not just over there. They're a family. They're the people that we know. We know their names. And, and I'm so proud of you. Now I'm going to ask you to do something. I want you, some of you to re-up and I want others of you to start. We know how to pray. We know how to go. We send teams. And I don't want to talk to you about your gift. This is so important for us. See, see, this is how this operates. Our missionaries go at the speed of generosity. They are empowered by our giving and our help. You know, there's two things I'm asking you about. One is to be extremely sacrificially generous during this month. From now to the end of September. Go beyond your comfort zone. I, I can just tell you this. As you know, I'm, I'm never afraid to ask for an offering for missions. But go beyond your comfort zone this time. Esther and I have already talked about our gift, our initial gift. Now there's the faith promise part, but there's that initial giving that really helps boost the, the beginning. It's, it's like that first seed planted into the ground. It's the large cash offerings that we can give to Senegal for that work to be completed. It's those kinds of things that we can do with the, with the initial gifts. Let's, let's just go beyond. Let's have faith. Let's, call, let's step out and do something that's uncomfortable. And then the second thing is the faith promise. That's the ongoing gifts uh, to, the, to the work of the missionaries. And this is how we support our missionaries on a monthly basis. So I want to ask you to do that as well. Make a pledge so that and here's what this does more than anything, as much as it, it reminds you the reason why you do what you do is to bring the glory of God around the world is for all to worship him, all for his glory. Father, I'm grateful to be here tonight. I'm so thankful for our congregation. I'm so thankful for the work that has happened.
let us be obedient in Jesus' name.